I want to talk about a game feature that hasn't gotten a lot of attention in Star Citizen. But as I've been playing the game, it has had a significant impact, not only on specific game mechanics, but an overall feel and experience of the game. And this is Look Ahead Mode. First, I want to talk about what is Look Ahead Mode and distinguish it from a similar feature of head tracking. Switching on the transmitter. Head tracking, as a general kind of game control input, is associated with the actual movement of your head and is a feature you can implement in Star Citizen. The default method is to use some sort of webcam to calibrate it to your face. And with that setting turned on, your view will move relative to your head position independent of where your body or ship is facing. There are also other types of headgear that are worn which can do this same thing. There are a couple small problems with head tracking though, one of which is that you actually need some sort of device to implement it, and even with a cheap webcam, you need a fairly good light source on your face for it to calibrate your head and then accurately track your movements in the game. Now don't get me wrong, this is a pretty cool feature, but if you're playing at night in your room and it's dark, you're going to have problems, and it does require that little extra bit of hardware. I'm also not talking about free look when I'm talking about look ahead. You can press or hold F or Z and look to the left and right and all around. Look ahead mode, or really it's just a built-in feature, is something a bit different, and it's what I want to talk about. The look ahead feature is felt when you're flying in your ship. It's a built-in function that happens naturally without the player having to implement anything in particular. It seemed to really come out of the vehicle experience team. We've got the option where you kind of look where you're turning or you look where the ship's traveling and there's two different things. So, so we developed the um, first person camera to support those features and also give the players the freedom to tune the camera either way of, you know, of how they wanted it to feel. So all these things lead to improving the, what we call the look-ahead mode now. What it is, is as you turn your ship in a given direction, your overall view and where you're looking will start to move and look ahead of where you're going in that direction. The more or harder you turn and move your ship, the farther ahead the look-ahead feature will move your first-person camera view. There's always been a bit of nudging in the cockpit view as you fly and turn, but it was only that, just a nudge, something to simulate that movement was occurring and add to the realism, but not enough to really change the experience. To actually see what I'm talking about, take a look at this footage as I nudge my ship a little to the left and right. The view of the cockpit also shifts. And when I make a rather hard turn, it significantly turns my view in the direction where I'm almost pushing the MFDs out of my field of view. It's not just a little nudge or minor nuance. This is a big shove that influences what you see. To demonstrate and test the same mechanic, I thought I'd show a little before and after using my prospector. In this footage from when I pimped out the Prospector for combat, you can use the MFDs overhead as a guide to see exactly how much it shifted the view when making hard turns. They would only push just to the outer edge of that display. With the reworked look ahead feature, it has a much more dramatic effect when you make those same hard turns. I also wondered if this would give a different effect when in atmosphere but the results were the same. There was significantly more push of my first person camera. So what did I think about this look ahead experience? I liked it. I like this thing. A lot. The devs related it to actual flying experience. What pilots actually do is uh, just like car drivers, right? When they, when they turn, they don't look straight ahead. They look into the turn or they lean into the turn. When we are driving a car on a windy road, you subconsciously look into the turn in the direction you're about to go to see what's there. 
in the game, not only did it give me that same experience and added sense of realism, but it actually let me see more of what I wanted to. I was able to track better with my prey in combat. And if using something like the Prospector, it kept a better eye on the ore deposit ping that I wanted to go to. What was nice here is that it's only momentary, and as my ship straightened out, it responded very quickly to recenter my view. Whatever they did code-wise seemed to have been done really well. It's incredibly responsive, and I haven't noticed any additional lag or problems associated with it. I didn't think much about this look-ahead thing when CIG first talked about it, but now that I'm seeing it and experiencing it, I'm pretty impressed. That was pretty good! The only possible negative is that it can briefly push the MFD data off the screen where you can't see your enemy ship damage, your own shield status, and that sort of thing. But as I noted, the change in the view is so brief that I don't think it's going to matter that much. And in reality, you're not really focusing on the display things all that much in a fight, just glancing there a bit. Most of the attention is on what's in front of you and where you're going. The effect did seem more pronounced in the Cutlass, which has a quicker maneuverability than the Prospector. But that is good as well. In fact, it seemed to take into account the amount of turning the ship was able to do. I'm not sure I would want it thrusting my view way off to the side as I slowly bring my Starfarer about. That might just feel like overkill. So let me know what you think of this look-ahead feature. Did you notice it in this latest release? Do you not like it or feel it's distracting in some way? Do you think that if people want to be able to see more in the direction they're going, they should go and get themselves set up for head tracking and leave this built-in feature out of the game? Let me know what you think. Maybe you haven't even noticed it. This month, I'm giving away an Aurora MR with game package, courtesy of the Reed Organization. Reed is involved with engineering that includes mining and salvage mechanics, science, exploration, and transport logistics for cargo hauling. They also have a defense division, which keeps all your mining and cargo running activities safe. Reed has a focus on collaboration and a sense of respect, both within the organization and beyond to the rest of the community. Feel free to like and subscribe, use my referral code and all that jazz, and I'll be talking to you later.